tell you can't tell the story of Long Beach without telling the story of Dennis, first and foremost, right? He's like the son of this town, you know? And and there's there's people older than him that are like the originals, right? And he was maybe like their kid. The younger guy, you know? Dennis is like my little brother. Um, this one really wounded me. Uh, it's I can't even imagine for Heidi and, and Sam. Dennis was my constant. Every time I come home, I was enlisted in the army 16 years. So every time I come home from a deployment to go fight overseas, which was more than a few, um, is just two blocks over on Corona, and there's there he is. You know, it's just a hug and a smile, no questions asked. So, so Corn Dog left on tour. I wish I went with them. And uh, they got fucked probably up. probably good you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, well, you guys were getting drunk. Dennis was in the van and he ended up uh, trying to. Um, well, we were in there like uh, doing whatever we were doing. And Kenny came in to like kind of gloat about meeting some girl. And Kenny just bum rushed him, knocked him out in the fucking RV. His leg caught on the way out and broke. It was pointed the wrong direction. It looked like some football injury. Zalkins jumps out, grabs it, and goes, Oh, his, his leg's like pointed the wrong direction. <laughs> Breaks it again. And we're like, Oh, fuck, dude, we gotta take this guy to the hospital. And, and Kenny's all like, You know. He's still hobbling like, around trying to pick up chicks. Yeah, he's like, No, no, we gotta go to this party. This chick totally likes me. And we're like, You're a fucking retard, dude. You need to go to the fucking hospital. The girl ends up with our other friend, not Kenny, and then we all have to drive home the next day. No one's talking to Dennis, everyone's pissed. <laughs> and uh, we stop at Hadley's by Palm Springs, and I bought him a fucking uh, ostrich burger and a date shake. Ostrich burger. We continue not talking, but he knew, like, we were cool, but he was out of the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What's up, everybody? We are Ham Apple. Our last, uh, so, our last show was with Scummy. So, uh, we're gonna just be nice after him. This was also the last shirt that Scummy wore on stage. Leave it like it, don't fucking criticize it. Scummy goes back in in the middle of the fucking night while I'm trying to sleep, and, and he's like going, like looking around for something in the fucking RV. And I'm like, fucking asshole, you fucking you. broke Kenny's leg. And I like kick him in the fucking oh, chest, yeah, that's right, and then yeah, he attacks yeah. me, and we're fighting, and Zalkin <laughs> dies on both of us. <laughs> <laughs> he's beating both of us up. <laughs> Walked in on the mentors and, and El Duce who started name, you know, hey, how you doing? Uh, yeah, oh, Eric, yeah, cool. Oh, Bradley, okay. Oh, Chris, yeah, great. Oh, scummy. He just looked at tennis and that was it, man. He's been scummy ever since. El Duce from the mentor. You know, it's things like that that stick. I've seen a lot of guys come and go. I've seen a lot of people from a lot of places, you know? And there's only one constant. Never changing, permanent fixture in my life. Out of all of this, and that one constant was Dennis. No. 
And he has a nickname. He has a nickname associated to him that I'll never utter again. Because we should respect each other. We should appreciate the value of one another. that you're uh, in paradise now. I'm super pumped that I saw pictures of you getting baptized as an adult. That's the kind of stuff that I really value and so I'm super proud of you for, for doing that and for taking that step. And uh, somebody fell down. You're, a, you're an amazing bass player. Um, I wish I could have played with my shirt off like you did, but I could never pull that off. And um, we're here tonight just to salute you and let you know that uh, we're thinking about you and your your family and your daughter and, and everybody and uh, we're just, we're your biggest fans, so God bless you. Denison, then you never knew shit about Long Beach. Thank you. We're the best fucking band. We're the best. The best. Fuck the rest. In the last five minutes. We don't need fucking amplifiers. This song, for all of you who give a shit, is called Full Blown
met Scrammy when I was on the back of my mom's bike, you know, five years old. Went to his house the first time. We were really, really good friends for, for uh, you know, a couple of decades. I'm going to miss him, you know. Um, he, was, he was a cool dude. And, uh, I, miss him. I feel like this is saying goodbye. It's saying goodbye not just to Dennis, but like to a time to a time and a place and a reality. And um, he embodied all of it. You want to tell the story of anything that ever came out of this thing, tell the story about Brad. Talked about it, if you could talk about it, ask Brad what he thinks about fucking Dennis. The best. Sense. It makes sense, right? Now we're storming it. It's yeah.